In this video, we're going to prove that a midpoint exists in every segment. So, proof of existence of a midpoint. And I might go back later on and prove that the midpoint is unique. Uh, this proof will not prove that it's unique, it'll just prove that there at least exists a midpoint. Now, it is unique, but that's a little bit harder to prove. So, why will we do this? Let's, uh, let's draw a picture first. So, we'll say we have A, B, and M. Alright, so we'll say let A B be a segment, which is the first part of that drawing. And we'll let F be the ruler of A, B to L. So we'll let that be a ruler for A, B. Then we'll say let M equals the inverse of f, f of a plus f of b over 2. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, these distances right here, so this distance, or this point equals f of a, this point or distance is equal to f of m, and this right here is f of b. And that's just how we measure the distance if you're not too familiar with that yet. Anyways, back to the proof. This part was not necessary for the proof, it's just to help you follow along. And we'll say then either f of a less than f of m less than f of b or we have the opposite of that f of b less than f of m less than f of a then by definition of betweenness we have M is between A and B then we use the uh, points from earlier F of M minus F of A equals f of a plus f of b over 2 minus f of a and we need to make sure that's a positive distance so we'll take the absolute value of that oh I'm supposed to take an absolute value of that too anyways which that equals f of a plus f of b minus 2 f of a so it's just a rewrite of the previous equation and now we'll start subtracting some things so that equals we have negative 2 f of a plus 1 f of a so minus f of a Then we have 1f of b plus f of b. And 
that's divided by 2, which is the same thing as f of b minus f of a divided by 2, which is the same thing as ab over 2. So m is the midpoint of AB, and we're done.